As a beginner day trader, you want to be very good at scalping. There are two rules for successful scalping. Number one, only scalp on high probability trades. Number two, take the profit quickly. In this video, I'm going to show you what other high probability trades. And also, I'm going to show you how much to scalp. To find out the high probability trades, you need to have a very good understanding of the market. And at the same time, you have to spend a large amount of time to do the research on the charts. I'm going to use the ES five minute chart, for example. The date is November the 4th. There are two high probability trades for the day. The first one is right after the uh, market opens. So the setup is the trend line break and also the first few bars giving the direction. The second trade is here. So the setup is the trend line support plus the third time touching the uh, bottom trend line. And also the big setup is the upward trapezoid. So I'm going to give you the details. Let's take a look at the first high probability trade. Right after the market opens, you can draw a trend line here. And then the fourth bar after the open is a trend line break. Second, for ES, there's a unique characteristic that after the open, the first few bars might tell you the direction of the trend. The first bar is a bear bar. And then the next bar is a bull bar. And then the third bar is a bigger bull bar. That means the trend is going up. This is the chart for November the 2nd, just two days ago. You can see the similar thing. The first bar after the market opens is a bear bar. However, the next bar is a bigger bull bar, which indicates the direction to upward. So this is the direction bar. This is the chart on October the 29th, just last Friday. You can see the similar setup right after the open. The first bar is a strong bull bar followed by another strong bull bar. So these two bars are direction bars. And you can see the day after that is a uptrend. And also another setup is that it's also a trend line break here. This chart is October the 28th, just last Thursday. You can see the similar thing right after the open. The first bar is very big bull bar. And then this is the direction bar. And also the same setup, it's a trend line break here. And then it leads to the upward trending. There are good trading opportunities. Right after you identify the uh, direction bar, you want to put your buy order on top of the direction bar. Or you can trade the first pullback. How much do you want to scalp? There are two ways. First is the measure move. Second is to set your exit the same as your stop. Let's take a look at the measured move. Here, apparently this small bull bar can serve as a pause of the trend, which is the kind of a pullback. So you want to measure the first leg. Here from the top to the bottom, this is the first leg, and then measure up based on the bottom of your, your pullback. Then you can see that next two bars, your exit is gonna hit. So you're taking the profit. This is what we mean that you take the profit quickly. Second, you can take your profit the same as your stop. So the second trade example will be a better one. Let me show you. For the second high probability trade, at this moment, you can see the market is going down greatly. However, it reverses back here. And then immediately you can draw a trend line like this. And then the market goes down again, but touches the trend line and then bounce back. So this is the third time it touches the trend line. Another thing is right now we are in the uptrend market. So the momentum will continue for a few days. Third, you can see it is an upward trapezoid. Let me draw the trapezoid for you. Draw from here to here, and then the top, and then goes down. If you have been trading enough time, then you will notice that this upward uh, trapezoid normally will continue the uptrend. So after it touches the third trend line here, this bar, this is the uh, very good signal bar. So you want to 
put your order on top of this signal bar and then trade upward, but only for scalping. There are two options for you to put your stop. Number one, you can put your stop at the bottom of this pullback, bigger pullback. Second, you can put your stop just below this signal bar, whichever you like, or whichever your strategy allows you. So let's do a measured move. If you put your stop at the uh, number one here, let's see. You measure your stop from here until your entry here. See where it get hit for your exit. It's gonna be hit by this big bull bar. The same thing, if you put your stop at number two here, you will also get hit at that big bar. Let me show you. Because the stop is just this bull bar, and then you measure here, yeah. You'll be exit at this bar. So you, you're taking your profit very quickly. If you're enjoying my video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And also, you can go to my channel for more videos. Thank you.